Hey, what is going on? STS here. Welcome again to another new video. Do I bring you just before I head out to the library to do some uploading today? Got a couple reviews to be uploaded in this video right here. This video right here, I never thought I was going to do, but though said this video needs to happen. Um, a very controversial, ma uh, a very controversial, well, for myself personally, this ain't for the ICW fan cam situation. This is about another video I'd done two weeks ago. An STS story I talked about in my past of uh, this past year. I mean in one hell uh, one of the most beautiful women alive. Um, and you know the whole story between all that. I did that. Well the thing is though I went overboard. Because uh, the thing and also I think I was drunk at the time making the video. Or something because usually videos where I make I make I usually don't use their names I usually make nicknames and stuff I ain't do nicknames and I showed a picture between me and her and her name and stuff and her family which you know the thing is I don't understand how that's really personal matter because her name could be any boss's name you know but the thing is that I did get a call two days ago well, yesterday I said yesterday at midnight I got a call from my friend or our friend, talking about, um, you know, I just saw that video you put out about uh, the one you can't have. That's her name. The one you can't have. Um, and I think you should delete it or take it off, you know. And, and I was going to, but I, th which I thought I did, but I didn't. Then I got a call yesterday. Which yesterday I was having a shitty, I was a, a shitty day, and then I had some good news about my dentist appointment. Of my insurance could be covered next month. Here comes bullshit. Ah, yay, I forgot about that. Oh, well, sorry, but that was a little something else. Yeah, here we. I get a call back from my friend again, but my my roommate, Chris, he, I could use his name because he don't care, he's my best friend. He uh, phone called me and said, it's about the one you can't have. And she, he was like saying, take the video off for press charges. I'm like, what? And I don't understand laws and physics. I don't understand shit. I'm a retard. I don't, well, you can call me whatever you want. I just don't, I'm very slow. I don't really get it. But you know, yeah. But the thing is though, then I got a call from, I missed a call and I looked at it and it was from the one you can, the one I can't have. And I called it back and that's when the whole talking was, you know, and she's very, she was very deeply Upset. She's never been upset in her mo her whole life. She was telling me on the phone, and I'm like, you know, you say I disrespected you, but you disrespected me. But you you keep but you keep. She kept on, like. Didn't I got her point in a way? But the thing is, that a great, lovely woman, and I I was emotional some of the stuff because it sucks real bad. I even told her herself. I said, you know, I really. I care for you so bad, you know. But you know what, some people, you don't understand my situation. And like, oh, don't be down yourself, you know. I'm not like that. I've been dealt with this my whole life, whatever. Look at all the stuff I've did. I deserve some stuff here, you know. But I, I know it's just, it's unreal. But you know, the thing is, though, I didn't know I was going to make her unhappy. I thought this video is just me. This is me venting off, you know. And don't. And other, auto, and otherwise, don't bother even looking for the video. The video is deleted because I'm not. I don't want you know for this shit. This is the video will be up. You know, it's called the uh, one last call. That's why I'm calling the title because that's what it was. One last call. It was, a, it was a conversation with a female who looked prior five months ago. Oh hey, what's going on? Oh I can't wait to see you today, which I had for a moment, which was just nothing but a tease in this Twilight Zone era of a year, um, but now it's just more of a confrontational drama matter, which I didn't know she was very upset about it, I was, I didn't know she was very upset about it, and it made me really kind of tear up in a way, but then again, you know, people could say, you know, and, then, and also too, you know, I told you I'm sorry to the one I can't not have, but here I am saying again to a video for a camera, for anybody else can see. Now, you're probably saying, well, I thought we were done with this. Well, I mean, we are done. I'm just saying, I wanted to put, put a video out to say how I feel personally. And I'm not using your name here. I'm using a damn nickname saying, 
the one I cannot have, because this is, I want this documented too, so I can look back when I'm older and whatnot, look at this year, this year's been one of the most shittiest years ever, and the thing is that, yeah, and that's what I, I and I just lost my thought, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, like, oh, Sim Sim Sim, sorry, he's a kiss ass, what am I kissing my ass, what am I getting out of this, the only thing you can say I'm getting out of this situation is relief, um, you're not really a relief, it's just, well, just knowing that, get over it, basically, to tell myself, you know, and, I mean, the things, I did say some harsh stuff, but then again, I'm speaking the truth, I'm speaking from my point of view, and my point of view, it doesn't matter, whatever, but, you know, I just want to make the video, I just want to make this response, this, my response to that, I mean, just, it, it, when it says it hurt real bad, but then, you know, it's just, I, I, why, why does this happen to me all the time? I don't understand. When I get this perfectly phone call, you know, I watch all these romance movies, and I watch all this stuff, dramas, and, like, on the phone, like, these phone calls, and saying, like, you really hurt me, or, or no, like, oh, I really need you, come in, uh, come outside and play, or come meet me, or anything. Yeah, see, I, I can't, that's, that's, that's what I want, but, you know, I get the calls of, you really upset, you really upset me, disrespected me, don't you want my respect, you know, but, I mean, yeah, there's nothing, what, what, what am I kissing ass for, nothing, just to, you know, I'm not kissing ass for nothing, I'm apologizing to a very sincere, beautiful person in my life, that doesn't give a damn, that doesn't, I understand her, she don't understand me, but it doesn't matter. I want to put it out here face to face to know how I feel about it. I mean, it's even depressing to talk about because I even told her herself, you know, everybody, you know, throughout this whole time, you know, I've always thought about you because you were somebody, you know, you were somebody who motivated me. You're someone who motivated me. But oh well, you have your own busy life. Being an amazing, awesome mom and all that other stuff. And I apologize to all their names, I mean, but then again, we come from a different world. You're more private, I'm more public. So my apologies on that part. But I just wanted to, to you see me in the camera. To say I'm sorry. But are you sorry for me, though? That's the question I always ask, you know. You know, people said, oh, I'm selfish. You know, yes, I am kind of am. I, you know, I, I've been, I am a selfish person. But not all the way, you know. I want, I, you know I am. I like movies. I like video games. I do all this uh, stuff. I make vlogs. I show my journey to, you know, I'm somewhat entertaining. You know, my whole dream is to be an entertainer. You know, this is what I love to do. You know, but who, who, I don't know how I can attract somebody, but I mean, it's just, I have a heart. It's all about profession. It's all, you know, it's all, it's about, it's all about profession. It's all about, oh, you have these standards here. I don't give a damn. Give me your heart. Nice and calm. And give, and put it towards me. You know, that's all I ask, you know, but it's all these little, these little imaginary scenarios in my head that keeps me alive still. You know, I, you know how many scenarios I had about this chick I'm talking about here? About the girl, you know? I never had, yeah. I went all the way with her, yeah. But the thing is, though, I have all these like, scenarios of it going to like a dinner place and taking ki our kids to the zoo or somewhere. No, we're in this era where people think, well, we had sex, maybe that's all he. That's all he wanted to do. That's all he thought about was just my fucking twat. And that's all he wanted and everything and all this shit. You know, no. You know, I love sex. And that's, you know, to me, I think sex leads to everything. You know, I think, well, I mean, stress. I mean, you know, stress reliever. It's everything. I think I'm just a, I'm a hippie for love. And that's how I am. But the thing is, though, I don't look towards that in a woman. Now, you can tell me that ten years ago, I was a fucking emo little sit at home looking at porn yeah oh yeah admit it oh yeah porn addict you know i didn't do i didn't smoke cigarettes what i did i was a, i was at home looking at naked women i was everybody was smoking cigarettes and smoking pot here i am 14 years old looking at naked women you know still am i like the female human body um but yeah i mean that's what it is um 
apology, you know, it's just what it is, you respect, you got, you got, you have to have some respect, but I just hope you don't get mad about this video, because I didn't say no names, I'm talking about you, you know who you are, but yeah, that's what I want to do, I had the public, I about to publicize my feelings towards this, because it was really a heartfelt phone call, it was very hard, because I'm talking to somebody for the very last time, but I got underway, so I got that out of the way, be bad guys, be bad guys. I hope for the best for her. She'll find somebody in the future on. Right now, she's doing her own damn thing. Let her do her own damn thing. I do, I'm do. i doing my own damn thing. So that's what's what's up. So I just want to make that video and tell everybody what's up, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's slash the one last call. Slash, uh... About the ICW thing here, if you want to talk about it. We can, yeah, let's start. Let's just segue it. Same video. ICW, ICW Pro, they're doing the Fall Brawl 2, which it looks like a, it looks like a card that I will not be going to, and the first of all, I don't, uh, first, well, the thing is, first of all, I still wait for an apology, which I probably will never get, because I live in Marion, probably, I mean, you know, it's the thing, too, I, I don't care, I mean, really, the, I mean, they took away my passion, so, I don't need to go. I don't, I don't need to. I don't need to go. Because, you know, we're, you're, you're there for a company. You're, yeah, you're there for a company that you support. And then they endorse you to your your videos, you know. But they can't just say, they should just tell me, oh, don't use perfect language because we didn't work for the company. But we know, we wanted they we helped out the company. And then Wilbur Berry with Hoodie Media XXL comes in every so often. But here I am that lives in the damn city here. Lives in the damn city. And you look at this and you choose out. Oh, I don't care. You put, oh, we knew him longer. Well, it doesn't matter. You put, you have a local kid. After one fuck up, oh, I said cunt to fucking Lord Mad. And he's a faggot looking like a car, a car in the book. Oh, boo hoo. Get out of the fucking gutter. I mean, and, and, but yeah. And I was, I knew what I'd done. And then you guys just blow me off just for one fucking video. You know? I don't get it, but the thing is, though, I'm not worried about it. What am I missing out? Nothing. I miss not nothing. I'm not missing out, but no, nothing but a bunch of hypocrites. I mean, a company that's a hypocrite. I mean, sorry, but I mean, that's it's horse shit. You know, uh, we're supposed to be real great, in, and we, you can't ever tell us anything. No, you have to talk about it all. It's like, oh, drama, and we're destroying your reputation. No one's destroying nothing. You came. You you're in Marion. Your your reputation is destroyed already. You're never gonna make it any damn where. I mean, I want the company to to succeed, but look at all this fucking bush league, fucking behind the scenes bullshit. Just because a fans, oh, you know, I don't care. I mean, whatever. Toodles, have a good show. No one gives a shit. Cause for compared to this year, compared to the last year to this year, what crock of shit? I mean, I don't understand what's going on. But things though. Not interested. Not impressed. These last couple shows, been not impressed. And then the what's up with the? It's a oh, you know, it used to be called card subject card subject to change league, or championship wrestling because the cards. The one thing you just one thing. There's no lead ups. There's only a couple matches or lead ups. You don't know who. <laughs> you know it's real funny too because some of the fans, even me, and of course, people come out. There's no, they should have like a Titan Tron. There should be like a little, you know, they did that before. They should get like a overhead system or something with entrance videos. I think that would be great. But then again, they couldn't do that either. Because some people come out, you know, and it's the, like, whoa, and then, dun, 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 dun. you know, like, we don't know the damn theme song's name. We'll go into Marion, and you'll see, oh, welcome to theme songs. Like, you know, oh, who's this guy? Oh, it's this guy, you know. You know, the only song we know that probably, remember by heart, is probably uh, the officer guy. I forgot his name. With well, the police department, and because of Lieutenant, oh, because of Lieutenant Cleavage. His titties, you know. And that's the thing, it, it doesn't work out, you know, and I don't know. I mean, the company, I hope it will stride, but this, this next, this event right here, don't care. And then I heard about this invasion, supposedly. <laughs> I heard about this invasion. Okay, you know, I, I don't... Okay, whatever. But... It's just, I don't get it. I really don't fucking get it. I really don't. But, you know, I will. That's, you know, that's my opinion. 
You don't have to listen to Sammy Slam. You know, you don't have to listen to him, Mr. Samuel. You don't have to listen to me. I'm just putting my opinion out there. So, there you have it. There's two uh, SDS store orders of vlog. SDS vlogs. This is the SDS vlogs from now on. SDS vlogs 01. Because since this, we're talking about, might as well, let's just do it. Hell, I do super reviews, let's just do personal vlogs and number them down. Hell, I'll do it. Or I'll just date them, who knows. But I mean, that's the thing, I also, too, I also want to do more videos, but things, I, I do more stent, I do more talking videos. I mean, I can bring, I have a selfie stick, I mean, I can take it out of places, but it's, it's I, can, I have a crappy selfie stick and stuff. No, I, I want to do that. But, but there you go, look at that. 15 minutes of nothing but blabbering from myself but I hope you enjoyed it for the first segment or the first excerpt I'm sorry I'm sorry girl um, I deeply do wish I had some magic and just threw some magic at you like everything would be okay no hurt no no there's no hurt there there's no like me I'm free but there's no hurt there's no from the past you know just like oh who are you oh my name's Sam my name's Samuel, you know, what's your name? Oh, okay, nice to meet you. You know, that's how it bees. But, you know, I'm tr I'm making this, I'm going to end it with this, too. Because this is the last time you're ever going to see me do this video. and talk about her or whatever. For my whole future on, this mistake, I mean, my, my mistake with this whole shit earlier this year, is going to be something that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use for leverage. So every time, well, I mean, or maybe for the next time when I meet a chick, I'm not leading on. I'm not going to go fast on. I'm just going to be their friend. I'm just going to be there and whatever. Because I don't, I'm not, I don't want to do it for shit. I do not want to go for this shit again. But I'm STS. Thank you for again for watching the STS vlogs. And we'll see you again soon. Peace.